Hi you guys, it's Asha here. This is my new project for Lindy's gang and this project is all about pipes and kind of a plumbing situation happening here. So please stay tuned. So for this art journal page I'm using a few of my favorite uh, moon shadow colors uh, from Lindy's gang, also squirts and uh, embossing powder. And now I'm working on the stamp, uh, one of my favorite also from Old and Create in, uh, called Industrial Script. I love all industrial and uh, steampunk and uh, so this one uh, works super well with uh, what I have in mind. And I'm trying very hard to stamp it very well on the paper. It does not work, my acrylic block is not big enough and I forgot to put a craft foam underneath which I will do at the very end, but um, I um, I struggled a lot and my Misty somehow did not work with this stamp. I have no idea why. It seemed uh, the stamp is uh, thinner than um, I would expect and even if I put a paper underneath it just didn't work. So here I am uh, pushing and pressing and uh, trying to do my magic. Uh, and some of the papers I had to throw out later uh, it, because they didn't stamp very well but it doesn't matter you'll see anyway I'm gonna cut it into a small pieces and ladies and gentlemen Eureka I just thought about my craft home it's very good when you uh, have stamps which don't uh, stamp properly uh, and you struggle with them and also if you have stamps like that um, it's a good thing to leave um, permanent ink on them just permanent ink be careful uh, and uh, without cleaning the stamp the permanent ink stays on it and the stamps are not uh, sticky too much and they actually later stamps uh, stamp better so that's my advice to you and uh, as i said before I'm cutting all the impressions I did in I did into a small irregular shapes, either squares or uh, some other uh, weird shapes. And here we go. I have a Haki Pak uh, black and Buccaneer um, bay blue. One is a squirt, the other is a, a moon shadow mist. Remember to really shake them well, uh, because as always the uh, most beautiful color stays on the bottom and so also when I'm dipping my brush even though I shake the bottles very well when I'm dipping my brush I try to reach to the bottom and uh, I add some water with a brush onto my page and now I'm adding with the brush uh, a little bit of colors kind of randomly but I want in my head uh, I want to just keep it kind of in the middle of the page um, from one uh, from left side to the right so I kind of wanted the shape I've made right now and uh, okay there was a smudge so I fixed it with my left hand <laughs> um, and the excess of the uh, water or of the paint I'm removing with the tissue as always I have always on the side a uh, tissue and I'm drying from both sides to avoid uh, warping and now I wanted the paint to run a little so I'm spraying it with a mini mist and wherever you spray um, on whichever color this this color is gonna actually run down so when I spray uh, more towards the blue then the blue is uh, going down and when I spray it more towards this uh, darkish uh, color uh, well mm, mm, the dark color is gonna run down so um, just think about that when you do, do it and I really love the effect it's like a I don't know how can I compare it with when you have mascara on your eyes and you cry <laughs> it's just basically that but so 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 much better <laughs> I mean actually there is nothing to compare uh, the colors I love uh, that's uh, another uh, moon shadow mist uh, tony turquoise or tony turquoise and I love it as well uh, and I decided to dip these small pieces um, which I cut uh, beforehand in it uh, so I uh, dipped in it every single piece I just 
cut this part because well, uh, the video is um, already long as it is and I'm gonna add again uh, some uh, embossing well again I'm gonna use the same stamp as I used before on OLED create stamp but I'm gonna add this time embossing uh, of course I forgot to use antistatic cushion that happens to me quite uh, often and um, again I'm stressing that quite often also I do distress pages so um, for me the small uh, mistakes or the small imperfections are a part of the um, of my creative process uh, I like it uh, um, that makes it what it makes I don't I cannot overthink too much because if I overthink my pages too much I lose all the uh, joy and the embossing powder I used, it was of course Lindy's embossing powder, beautiful, beautiful color. Um, uh, let me check Midnight Bronze, and more, uh, let me remember, it was Midnight Bronze. And I decided to add uh, some uh, Buccaneer Bay Blue um, to some of the pieces, not all of them, but some of the uh, pre cut pieces. Uh, and again I am adding some more stamping this one is a studio light stamp uh, Cox and after uh, stamping I'm uh, adding also a little bit of uh, black thread and um, not attaching it with the glue because um, later I'm gonna hold it together with the glue with which I'm gonna attach the small pre-cutted pieces I am gonna be attaching the uh, small pieces with a, a 3D foam tape, that's the orange thing on the side, and also with a tacky glue, because what I wanted to achieve is um, like a few levels, uh, like a maze kind of. Um, it's an industrial stamp I cut it into pieces, and that's the industrial background, and I wanted to do a this kind of messy, which you can find in the, I don't know, basements or uh, some factories, the pipes which are all over the place, which are in uh, going into the, in different directions, which are different sizes. So for that, I uh, decided to uh, make a multi-level uh, page. And some of the pieces I am gonna uh, emboss, for that I'm using embossing uh, pen. And uh, again, on the same Midnight Bronze embossing powder. And I managed to do uh, three, four levels um, of the uh, on the page. And I done it uh, by either sticking, it, uh, sticking the pieces flatly on the page or uh, adding uh, one layer of the foam, uh, 3D foam tape or two or three layers and like that the um, well I like I got my base basically and um, uh, I'm adding a little bit of uh, stamping because I cover most of the stamping with the uh, with the pieces and I had a, a small accident when I actually stamp a part of my finger on the page so I covered that with a um, again a, uh, stamp from uh, Studio Light, the smaller uh, kind of a screw thing stamp. And I'm using also a uh, Nuvo Drops. Uh, I have no idea why I did that. It actually was unnecessary, I think. But uh, well, I did it. And uh, it's not breaking the page, but uh, I could have lived without it. And for the uh, sticker, I'm gonna use uh, a paint chips uh, word sticker from uh, Seven Dot Studio. And these three words I'm showing you here, they also come from Holland Create Stamp, so uh, I think they are matching the page perfectly. Uh, so I'm adding them there, and that's it. The uh, I really love the, uh, the effect, the uh, multi-layering or whatever that is called and the beautiful, beautiful colors from uh, Moon Shadows and uh, from Spirits. And that's it for me now and I hope to see you soon. I wish you a, a lovely day and bye bye.